Hello everyone. In today's video, I will guide you how to enable SMTP mail with Gmail in cPanel. So first, you have to go into your cPanel account. I have already logged in, so just go to the email account from cPanel. Click on it. Now you can find your email. Like my email is infomisbamahmood.com, and click it. Here you can see the mail client manual setting. You can just copy these settings and copy in your notepad. It is a important information which is helpful when you connect your mail with Gmail. So just paste it in your notepad and save it. Now go to your cPanel again and click on forward. Here you can add a new forward. So now add the forwarder. So on the first box you can enter info and select your domain as my domain name is misbahmahmood.com. Now add the destination email address where you want to forward all your emails. So I have add this email. This is the email of my Gmail account which I used. Now click on add forwarder. So you can see this message. Now go to your Gmail account and go to the settings. Click on see all settings and go to account and import. Now go to the send mail as and add another email address. So this is the setting where we can add the information which we have saved in notepad. Now on the email address you can ask, uh, you can copy the username and paste on the email address field and go to the next step. So on the SMTP server field you can add the outgoing server mail. So copy from the notepad. and paste it there also include the username add the password of your mail now select the SSL connection and add the account now for the verification they send the email to our cPanel mail. Go to the email accounts and go to your mail. Click on check email. Now you will login into your email. Check this box and login. So here you can see the notification for verification. Click on the first link, click on confirm. Now go to your Gmail account and you can see that your mail is added here. So that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.